<clears throat> hey everyone, it is Kim and it is Saturday morning. It is going on at 10 o'clock in the morning. It's about 9.50 right now. I am outside of Bax's training class. He gets, his training is at uh, PetSmart. The trainer there is just really awesome. And he really likes those, so it works out nicely. Um, and it's in a big shopping center, so you'll see a lot of cars coming behind me. But he graduates from his next set of classes today. Um, there's three levels that he has to take in order to take his final test. And he has done everything necessary for graduation from his second set. The first set we did as a, in a group class with another dog. Now we do individualized training because it's just easier so that we can do more specialized training for him. One of the things that technically he's supposed to be able to do for the test is let me walk away and he's supposed to stay in a sitting position. That doesn't work for what he's supposed to be doing and he knows that. And so that's just, it's a pointless thing to do with him. Um, he knows he's not supposed to let me walk around a store by myself without them. Um, and so there's certain things that it just counteracts his specialized training that for things he's supposed to do. So um, we're going to go in and do that. I need to get some um, chews while I'm here as well. We're going to go to Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree today. I need to go get some fleece. So we're going to go get some fleece at Hobby Lobby. And they are supposed to have pictures with the Easter Bunny here at PetSmart today. I'm hoping that's after his class because while Baxter loves the guy that wears the costume, I'm not sure how much he's going to like the um, Easter Bunny costume. Um, though I do kind of want to take them and get a picture made with them, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but all is well this morning. Sorry I didn't film yesterday. It was another one of those bad health days and... It would have just been a 30-second film of, I don't feel well, I haven't done anything, I'm sorry, goodbye. And I just don't think that, you know, that's what people want to see. Today, I am going to start, I was working on a baby blanket. My oldest niece has a teacher that is having a baby during summer vacation. She is due in June, so we went to... She wanted to make me make her a blanket. And I started one, but I just was not feeling it. And now I've procrastinated so long, I need something quick. So I found a pattern online that I'm going to do that is made using blanket yarn, which I've got plenty of. I'm going to do that, and so I want to make a quick... It only takes about three to four hours to do, the pattern says. So I'm going to make that real quick. I'm hoping to do that throughout the weekend. Um... And then I'm also going to do a levy to go with it, probably the elephant. So I want to go try to find some fleece today because I had mentioned that the fleece I had was just pulling too much. So I'm going to go try to find a few different types of fleece today at Hobby Lobby. I usually love Joann's fabric better, but the Joann's is about 90 minutes away. And I don't want to go there today. I do plan on going there, you know, doing a big yarn purchase soon because usually in about June the sales line up where you can get the blanket yarn for the big balls of it for $4 a piece. So that's usually when I go and buy quite a bit. So yeah, so I'm sorry if the camera's shaking on you. I'm trying to learn how to hold it steady, but I don't have a mount in my car. Um, so I am going to go inside here. Baxter's going to have his class. And then I will talk to you guys afterwards. He's going to, we're going to do a refresher real quick. He's going to do his test, which is basically showing that he knows the handful of things he's supposed to know. And then we're going to um, take pictures in the graduation cap. So I'll see you all soon. Bye. Hey guys, it is now just before one and I have had a day. Baxter uh, graduated. He did everything and then some that he needed to do, so he is good. If I could figure out how I'll insert a picture somewhere um, of him in his um, graduation cap today, 
Then as soon as we got done at the class, I get out into my car and I start to go to get a muffin for breakfast. And my tire lights come on. My tire looks fine. I can't figure out what it is. And then I had problems with it. So I went to go put air in it. And then the gauge was messed up on the air machine. And so then I wound up putting too much air in it, which was worked out being fine because the um, hole was so big that it the air went out quite quickly. But I had enough air in it that time that I made it to the tire place. And then for the millionth time in the look, it feels like the last year, I've got another tire. So I had another tire today. Wasn't planning on that. Then I went and I finally got my breakfast because by that point I was feeling really sick. Um, and after that, we went and we saw the Easter Bunny. Um, it'll be up to 48 hours before I get the picture from that. So I'll have to insert that into a video later this week. But Baxter did not like the Easter Bunny. What was funny is he loves the guy that was playing the Easter Bunny. It's a guy that he sees every week when we go there. So the Easter Bunny started talking to him, trying to calm him down because he was pulling near me and like kind of cowering in a way from the Easter Bunny. So the Easter Bunny started talking to him. And the problem with that is Baxter recognized the voice, but he was not having any of the costume. So I sat with him for the picture that this really pretty set up. And we got our picture made with the Easter Bunny. And... Thankfully, the woman taking the picture was another one that Baxter knew really well. So, she was able to get his attention. And I think he looked at the camera. We'll have to see. So, it was good. The only problem with stuff like that is it brings out a lot of dogs and a lot of animals into one environment, which is great. But then he went into what I ran into, which is the woman, the dog behind me, it turns a year old tomorrow. Well, this was its first time out. So, it was his first time around people, which at a year old is not a good thing. And this, this dog had to weigh over 120 pounds. So, that was stressful, but Baxter seemed to be fine by him. Um, I just went, usually I hold Baxter anyway, so it was fine. Um, we're going to take two weeks off of training. I'm not sure if I mentioned that yet. So, we're going to take two weeks off, and then he starts his... Uh, last set of classes and then in June he's going to do the tricks classes because he loves doing the more active things he doesn't like the ones where he has to sit there and wait he don't like that because he's very fidgety um so he's going to do the tricks classes so he can be a little more active so I'm at Hobby Lobby now I'm going to go in I'm going to get some fleece hopefully if they've got what I'm looking for and then I'm not sure what we're going to do. I know Baxter's ready to go home. I'm not feeling that great. But more stuff to be done. I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Hey, just got done at Hobby Lobby. And I found something really cool. This, let's see if I can. This storage tote, it actually has it where the yarn comes out the side. This was part of the clearance sales that they have going on right now. So I picked it up because it will be part of a giveaway. Not to drop any hints, but I would definitely keep an eye out on this channel for a giveaway sometime this week. I've got some yarn that will be in it. I've got um, other goodies. i got a few other things. i got found some fleece didn't find everything I wanted but I'll go to Joanne's here in a couple weeks and get some more I have at least enough for now um I'll go get some more at Joanne's it is about to start storming and Baxter is absolutely tired and so am I but if I can get home or get to my storage unit before it starts storming I need to go get um the yarn for the baby blanket for my niece that I had mentioned in the first set um, I need to go get it, um, so I can start on that today. So I need to go get the blanket yarn for it out of storage, which is down the street from my house. So if I can get there before it starts pouring, I'll go do that. But I'm going to go pick up some lunch. Baxter thinks he's going to take a nap. He's got a dog bed in the passenger seat. 
that he sleeps in. So, um, I will talk to you all in a little while. I will show you what I got at Hobby Lobby when I get home. And we will see if I can even get any crochet done today. Um, I haven't gotten much done the last couple days. I'm still in the middle of working on several things. So, hopefully when I get home, get settled, and feel a little better, I'll be able to get some more done. If nothing else, I would love to get that blanket done today. If it's only going to take three to four hours and it's just going to storm today, it would be great to get done. So... But I will show you everything else I got at Hobby Lobby. I got a couple more things for a giveaway. I got some pretty fleeces. So I will show that tonight before I edit this video. And until then, I am going to head to storage. Hey everyone. I have decided to wrap up this video. It's about 8.30 at night. I'm sorry about the... If you hear sounds in the background, my dogs are here. My animals are over there. I've got fans going, but I want to wrap up this video, and I want to show you some of the stuff that I worked on and kind of where I'm at, um, besides a little bit scattered, and I'm going to show you my Hobby Lobby haul. So, I forgot to bring this out here, but I started the Stay in the Stegosaurus. It's a paid pattern on Ravelry. Um, and if you're doing craft shows, I highly recommend dinosaurs. Excuse me. They are the best. They are the most popular thing. And make them in as many colors as you can. So I decided to try this pattern out to give me a stegosaurus. I do have another stegosaurus pattern I'm going to try. So I started on that. I forgot that inside of I'd show that to you. Now, the blanket I mentioned earlier is by the Crochet Crowd, and it is the Toy Box Blanket. This is using Bernat Blanket Yarn, and I'm sorry it's in black and white, but um, this is a free pattern. But my printer is a laser printer, so it doesn't allow me to print the colors. Now, I also got this pattern today. I This is by Crochet to Play. It's the bride and groom. I want to start this this week. There's three different ways you can do the dress, three different ways you can do the hair, and then you can do a bow tie or a necktie for the boy. I watched her design this pattern and fell in love with it, and then I tried to be a tester for it, but wasn't chosen, so I picked it up now that it's been released. So I want to make um, bride and groom. Because I feel that people would really enjoy that kind of keepsake when they get married, um, to have that little... Because when you get married, you don't really get, like, a lot left over. Yes, you have a big dress, or you've got, you know, your gifts. But in time, I just think these are a simpler gift. Now, a couple things I worked on today. I had mentioned that baby blanket that I had um, started for my niece's teacher. And it's in timeout right now. I'll eventually get back to it. I'm going to do the blanket yarn one for her but I was unable to get into my storage unit today and I won't be able to until Monday so I'm not going to be able to work on it but I did work on this this is going to be a star blanket and this is the same pattern that I was using for her blanket this is just in worsted weight instead of baby yarn and the center is soft white by Red Heart Super Saver and then this is the Rainbow Confetti by uh, Big Twist Sincerely. Love this color. So this will eventually get done. Right now this is living in my bag from Randy at Randy Rambling. Randy Random's Rambling. Um, I've got multiple bags from her, but this is a cute unicorn print. So I'm... Put some effort into that today. And then I picked up something else that has been in time out for a while. Because I'm not very good at finishing blankets. I like things that work quicker. So, excuse me one second. Sorry, I dropped part of the yarn ball. But I was, this is the first C to C I've ever done. And I got this out of time out today. 
Um, but I do not remember what hook I was working on with it. I suspect based off the stitch size it was a 5. Because it's not airy at all. Like it's pretty uh, thick in its stitching. I need to do better about keeping up with that type of stuff. But this is... I had three skeins of this, but I started coming to the end of the second skein, and I realized I wanted bigger, and so I ordered a fourth skein. So I figured that when I get to the second one, then I will start decreasing when I start the third. So I got the fourth one in, and here's a better look at the colors. This is Bernat Pop. This is the... Pop art color, and so I bought this out of uh, Time Out, and I will be working on it some this week too. Because I really, even though it's Amigumi April, I really want to get to where I'm finishing blankets as well. Because I do think having a few blankets at my craft shows might be a good thing. Um, that, and I've never made myself a blanket or anything else, so I want to try to get some blankets done. So I have two more skeins of that to put into that. And anybody that does C2C know it works really quickly. It's the first one I've ever done. So once I get a handle of this um, decreases, should be just fine. And then another thing that I bought out of my... Oops, sorry. Focus! I... Give me one second. There we go. Sorry about that. It's struggling to focus out here. Um, I had started... I've got multiple um, Hottie Bear patterns started. But I had started the... Um, Triceratops. And I was using blue... Uh, I think it's Delft Blue and Orange from Red Heart Super Saver. So I want to go through, I've got a bag of the motifs started. I want to go through and finish the motifs so I can get the Triceratops done. So I've pulled it out. And I've also got um, a horse started, an elephant started, and I want to do a giraffe. So I need to get working on those. But now, let's go into what I got at Hobby Lobby. Because it's just, it's depressing when I think about all the works in progress I have going on. So I need to really tighten them up. Um, I've just not been as productive as I wish I was. So I picked up some fleece. This fleece is much stronger than what I was working with. Um, but I got this mermaid scales because I figured this would be cute as a lovey blanket but also on the inside of ears and on. It also gives me multiple colors to work with. Because I've got almost all of these colors in blanket yarn. So, that and also will look good with um, solids too. I got a full yard of this one. Because I think it's really beautiful. And it's just a plaid. So, I can just pull, you know, from little sections to do the insides of the hands and ears and all of that. So, I picked up a yard of that. Now, let me show you this other. Sorry. Then I got this um, blue and mint and gray and white plaid. I figured the same thing I can cut, you know, from like in here and all to really show some color in some of the designs. And then I got sorry they just kind of stuffed these all in a bunch of bags. I got these hearts and while this is kind of too big to use for most of them it still would make a really cute levy blanket. And then sorry there's a bunch of um, little fuzzies all over the place. 
bet you can't guess what I had in mind to make with this one. Yeah. How cute are these little sheeps? Aren't they just the cutest? I had to be careful and look at it a couple of times to make sure they were sheep and not um, poodles. Because they kind of look like poodles too, but they're supposed to be sheep. So I figured that would be really cute as the lovey part of the sheep. Or I can cut around like the faces to go inside the um, like hands and the legs of the baby sheep. And then I also picked up similar to that one i picked up this elephant to go in um as a, a base for levy for the elephant levy and you see that the quality of this is so nice i'm think i'll have a much easier time with these um, but this has all different elephants because what my plan was is to use this as the base and then use either that plaid that I have, or I picked up this faux minky dot gray. And I'm doing the, sorry, I'm doing the elephant lovey for my niece's teacher to go with the blanket. And I figured I could use, you know, a nice, I've got a light blue over there. Um, let me grab it real quick. It's right here in the corner. But I figured I could use this. And even though this is more of a green than it is... A blue I think it still looks good together so I can do the elephant lovey in this the blanket with this and then for the inside of the ears and the base of the arms I got just a little bit of this kind of one with the dots on it so it makes it very soft so I thought that would be a good contrast and then these would be the lovey so I'm going to get that started especially since I can't do the blanket yet so I can kind of get them both done because I still want to get it done and out um, we've got Easter break on of course, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so I want to be able to get it out before Easter, just so it's done. So, that's my hope this week. And the last thing I got was this solid pink, because I figured this would go good with the sheep, with the hearts, and just as a complementary color to those. Again, for the bigger patterns for inside the... Um, ears and things of that nature. So I got that. That was the fleece. Oh, sorry, I did get one more. This was a remnant and it was just a nice soft, um, kind of soft white. So I did get it. So I will go to Joann's and get a bunch more fleece, but for right now, that at least allows me to get started. And I'll show you the rest of the stuff that I got at Hobby Lobby. I picked me up a pair of spring scissors because these can be used for sewing or for really anything. So I picked these up. They're better quality than the ones that I have now, so I wanted to get those. Then I picked up these. They are, whoops, I've got a horrible glare on them. There we go. They are straight pins which are great when you're trying to put amigurumi together, but these have cute little birds on them. So I picked up two packs of those. Oops, and I just dropped one. One of those I'm going to keep, and the other I'm going to use as a giveaway this week, as I had mentioned. And then I got these on clearance as part of the big clearance sale that they had. 
and how cute. It's a little sheet, but it's a gauge thing. So it's got all the different sizes on it. But it's shaped like a sheep. So I got some of those, and they will be part of the giveaways as well. And then the last thing I picked up was this gray bag that I had shown. It's a project bag. It's got a lot of space on the inside. It's got a pocket on the front. And on the side, it's got where you can um, feed your yarn out. So if you're working on a project special on the go, this would be great. And then it just takes up barely any space when you're done with it. So I got that, and that will be as part of a giveaway later this week as well. So I had to pick up straight pins before the dogs got a hold of them. So that is everything for today. I know today's kind of a long video just of me talking, but I hope tomorrow will be a little more organized and actually show some more progress on Amagumi April. But I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.